then 90% of that water will come back out into the atmosphere. The other 10% comes down in the cadmium layer and feeds the tree with that rich sugary sap. Mm. Look at the size of this tree! Oh, <laughs> Where does the water come from? If it has well, it's out of its root system. So its root it? system is the same size as it's at the top. What you see at the top of the plant, of the tree, any plant, Um, this is Peter, aka Bear Grills. <laughs> Mark two. <laughs> Mark two, yes. A little bit of moisture. Calling the birds. Duck with the hernia. thinking you were going to be whistling. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working, so we'll try again later. <laughs> I think that guy's in tree. Is he? I th yeah, he's looking around. I think he's looking for the source of the noise. Come on, come on, come on. Like, Which? Where? Yeah. The black one up there. Do you see him? No. Oh yeah, I see him. Can you see it? I can't see him. Yeah. Oh yeah. He keeps looking around. That's the tui. Yeah. He can't find where it's coming from. And he's left. <laughs> See? <laughs> if you have even bird poops on you, it's good luck though. That's what my mom told me. My mom said the same as well. I think it's just a sign. That way the air gets drawn in underneath and keeps your fire going. Instead of it drawing in and you got that damp, moist air putting your fire out. That's one way of doing it. So you should make the same noise as your fire. The okay. crackling noise. If he doesn't make that noise, it's not going to burn. Okay. Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just mm -hmm. nice crackling noises. Now, there's just different ways of getting the, the fire going. Have you seen the Maori fire plow? No. no so it, well, it's not just the Maori, it's all over Polynesia. So you take two pieces of wood. Should be another one in here. Here we go. So you take two pieces of wood. If you feel if you feel that and it's cold, it's just just a piece of yeah. wood, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I put my knee on here and then start rubbing. Now the idea is you start rubbing slowly to warm the wood up, and fibres catch in this little bowl. Oh yeah. And when the fibres build up, then the heat of the wood will ignite them. It doesn't come up into a big ball of flame. What it will do is just get a, a glowing ember. It's starting to get warm. Is that a particular type of wood that you're yeah, using? Yeah, so I'm yeah. using willow. Willow, okay. Yeah, or you can use mahoe, which is a native wood. Okay. So you need to use either two soft pieces of wood or a soft and a hard piece. Okay. Two hard pieces, just you can't get that friction. So if you hold your hand out again, so you can feel the difference in the heat. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, I think... Let's see. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Builds up quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. It'll take, it'll take about 20 minutes to get a fire going like that. Okay. So it's a, uh, it's quite a, you see all the, you see, see the dust that came yeah. out then? Yeah. So, so what that, you do, the dust catches the fire and that's your it, ember yeah. that you place on. So you just on. put a piece of leaf over there and then tip it over. And you tip it over. And then you wrap it up. And then if it's a and cold, damp day, you wouldn't blow on it because you get moisture coming out of your mouth. So what you do then is just hold it in your hand and just move it around in the air. Otherwise, you know, you get that, you know, you can see your breath in yeah. the air. You just put moisture into it and it's very hard mm. to light it. So that's a fire no. So it's called a mish metal, it's two pieces of metal. Mm -hmm. You can hold that tin for me a moment. So if you feel like, if I do it like that, there's nothing. If you do it like that, it's a bit rough. It holds your finger out, do you feel? So that way, it's quite smooth. Mm -hmm. But this way, feel it's, oh, it's, yeah. yeah, you can feel the difference. So it's there to there. Okay, yeah. So if I go like that, look, nothing happens. If I tip it that angle, oh, oh, you oh, see, so you can okay. just... We need to get one of these, Joe. Yeah, for a time <laughs> in the wilderness. Yeah, when are you back at the lodge? 
we're not going back to the lodge. We're Peter. staying We're going to build a hut. We're going to build a shelter out here tonight. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm using this side. Yeah, so put your thumbs in the two dips. Yeah, turn that one round. That's it. That's it. And then your thumb in the other one. That's it. And then, yeah, now do that's it. Again? Yeah, that's it. And then people say, how hard should I press? And I say, well, your life depends on it. So press as hard as you can. You can get a bit closer if you want. Oh. Yeah, so put, put a little bit more angle on the... Like this? That's it, yeah, more, more there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too powerful. Yeah, he's that woman power, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Joe. Light my fire. Oh, no, Lee. Oh. I'll show you another way. Another way you can do it is... Because sometimes when you do it like this, and I've done it, and you hit your knuckles on the floor, yeah. you can hold that still there and go like this. Oh. So if I do it, I can give you another one of these. You want you can just go. Oh my gosh! See, like, that was the trick. Like, no, oh my now goodness. I want to do it. No one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. Game on. <laughs> Let's see. So, so like so this. Hop, that's it. So put that. Put your knuckles on the floor. So and then just put it under and pull it hard against it. Like this? Yeah, put that one on the this one on the floor. Uh -huh. That's it in there. And then put that under this and then pull that pull this one up. Keep that one where oh, it is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just reverse it. And again. Let's see. Ooh, you, you oh, see that you did it then and then Oh my gosh, almost. Guys, we're we're not going hungry tonight. <laughs> and again. Fuck <laughs> 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 yeah, fluff it up a bit. There you go, a bit more. Put it all together. Let's see. Huh. I'm trying to really connect with my jungle Asian roots right now. <laughs> Show you another little way you can do it as well. Is you can put in, you can put a few scrapes in there like that. Oops. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, that, that, did I light your fire? Sorry. <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? So let me just put a few sparks in there for you. it slowly this time, shall I? You go back to your husband's house, you trip, say, yeah, this guy lit my fire. Go, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, oh, and again. Almost. Oh, I can see what you're doing. When you're going down, you're going all the way down, and, uh -huh. and you, you're lighting it, yeah. but that's putting it out. You, oh, so, so I need just to go, go. Yeah, just go, like just almost, go part okay, way so down. The, yeah, okay. try that. Push it into the ground there, so you have got something to push on. Yeah, and just push like that. Okay, but don't go all the way to the. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Is it more? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Yay, JJ! We're gonna burn! We're gonna survive. Oh my gosh. Guys, you wanna keep that? You can keep that. Just made it. I just made some delicious cotton balls for you guys. Oh my god. Wood. As thick as your thumb and about that long. Okay. Now all I'm gonna do is that here at the end, I'm gonna saw it in halfway through at an angle. Oops. This works best with you know, green wood. Mm. If, it's, if it's dry, it won't work. A bit halfway, nearly there, aren't we? So, so we're going about halfway through at an angle. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it over, and this time about here, I'm going to go straight down. Straight down, yep. Yeah. And again, halfway. So halfway at an angle, turn it round, then go straight down. Straight down, yeah. Just a halfway couple of inches through. up from the cut. This one I made earlier at 240 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. Where is that guy? That's probably about it. I'll do this. Mm -hmm. Don't leave that one there. Oh, I feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the magic if it works. So you've got one cut there, one mm -hmm. cut there. And then you put your thing, thumb and finger and... There you go. Now, I'm going to take a knife somewhere. I've so many things in my pockets. 
<laughs> My cousin, she lives over here. See, I'm going to write a book. It's called Pete's Pockets. <laughs> Pete's Pockets. <laughs> Everything you need. Yeah. This, this is like a woman's handbag, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I want clean underwear. <laughs> Take a knife. Now what I'm going to do is just carve this into a point. This is not to spear the animal. Yeah, I was like, what's going to happen next? Yeah. Now this was discovered, this trap was discovered in Northern America in a cave. And for years, nobody knew what it was until the internet came about. And somebody put a picture of this on the internet asking what these, these geologists found these, these bits of wood, these pegs lying around. And an elderly gentleman, a native Indian, American Indian said, it's a trap, hmm. it's, it's a, a, a deadfall trap. So what you do then is, you take this end and you put it like this, back where it was, and you put a rock or a log on top of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on here, you put a berry or whatever bait is you're trying to catch. So you mm -hmm. put the bait on there, that's what this point's for. When the animal comes on, and you just have to touch this lightly, it collapses. The whole thing collapses whole on thing, top of yeah, the thing. Yeah, on top of it. Now, if you're, you, what you have to think about is whatever animal you're trying to catch, it, the wood or whatever weight you're using on top, needs to be five times the weight of whatever you're trying to catch. If you're trying to catch a rabbit and you put a bigger rock up there, you're going to come back to soup. Right. <laughs> if, if it's too light, it's going to get away. So five times is the rule. So, you, so you're five times the weight of the rabbit. It's on there when it comes under, it just falls. And there's your dinner. Now, Amazing. when you see all these traps on TV with ropes and bits of wire and to catch something like these guys when they catch it on TV, they'll have 40 or 50 traps because it, it's a numbers game. You know, the animal doesn't come to your one trap when it's got this whole forest to walk mm -hmm. through. So you've got to, you know, it's a numbers game. So they'll yeah. put all these traps out and they'll just film the one where it's caught. Huh. That's what you want to do, something nice and simple. Two cuts, you know, make a, make a, make a point, to put your bait on and then bang, you've got your animal. Wow. Brilliant. Action. So this is how you test a plant on yourself. You would need to test it the way you're going to eat it. So if it's raw, you test it on yourself raw. If you're going to cook it, you cook it and then test it. So you rub it on the inside of your wrist and you leave it there for one hour. Right? No reaction, no itching, no, no burning. Next time you do it on the inside of your elbow mm -hmm. and you leave that for one hour. No reaction still. The final one. Hello, mama. <laughs> Inside the bottom lip, chew a little bit, uh, move it around your mouth, spit it out, wait for one hour. If there's still no reaction, then it's safe to eat. I see. But then what, how would you eat that? Would you cook it? Just as it is. So if I've, if I've tested it raw, I would eat it raw. If, I've cook, if I cook it, I'll cook it, then test it on myself. Because okay. different heats and different cooking styles may change the chemical compounds within the plant. Mm. Interesting. Okay, got that. Is that thank yeah. You. I'm filming it now though, Pete. So yeah. Cool. Action shot. Action shot. <laughs> what is that though? I'm not it's going just... in there to find out though. It's a big long thing <laughs> hanging from <laughs> inside <laughs> the tree. I'm not going in, going. I'm still not going in. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, you know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's kind of spooky. Yeah, it's a little yeah, bit spooky yeah. in there. Great place for shelter though. Yeah, but you yeah. don't know what's in there. 